All right, the first place in Subnautica that you can build a creative base in is going to be the Sea Treader's Cave. Now in the Sea Treader's Cave, the main way you're gonna be building your base is primarily by building along the sides of the walls of the entire cave slash cavern, because you don't wanna build in the middle of the bottom because that's where the Sea Treaders are walking, as you can see right now, and they come through that area and you don't want them to like bump into your base or anything. Building alongside of the walls of this cave is going to allow you to avoid that issue. And it's also gonna give you a nice view of the Sea Treaders if you so choose, you can build the windows sort of like facing the sea treaders but your base is going to be a little bit long in terms of like the shape so you're going to have like a big old long base just stretching all throughout the biome but as you go through this biome you're going to see these little mini caves that branch off and you can actually build your base in these areas as well you can sort of like branch off so let's say i was building my base build 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 and then i see this to my right and i'm like oh i want to build my base over there as well so i keep going keep building my base this way but I can also build these little, um, T, yeah, the T and X compartments. You can build some of those and branch your base off and expand it into these other areas over here into this cave because these caves actually have a lot of room so you can actually build the you can build your multi-purpose rooms in here scanner rooms you can also fit a moon pool in this specific area because this area is super cavernous there's a lot of room that you can build this cave even breaks off into a bunch of mini caves so that's also super cool there's a lot of extra room that you have that you can't see at a first glance but you actually have to like explore a little bit and you'll see that there's a lot more room in this biome to build your base than meets the eye you're also going to be using the vertical connectors a lot if you want to build your bigger modules like the multi-purpose room in the main area multi-purpose room your mobile and whatnot you're gonna have to build it above the sea treaders so you would build like a vertical connector going up and then you would build stuff going out this way and then you just have your stuff sort of hang above the sea treaders looks pretty nice looks pretty nice and then you can keep going keep going there's the archway right here so this biome has a big old archway that you can also build your base on and it sort of sits above the sea treaders path so you can actually see all the sea treaders sort of like walking by so this is actually this would be the perfect place in my opinion to build a little observatory because because the observatory you know you can see through the floor so if you build it over this you can see not only the sea treaders like walking in front and whatnot you can also look down and see if there's any beneath you actually walking around and you can also build some other stuff here up here like the multi-purpose room uh moon pool scanner room large room all that good stuff you can build in this biome because this biome has a lot of space plenty of space for your vehicles you know your pawn suit cyclops your sea moth all that's going to be able to fit down here because this biome is extremely large and this cave is extremely large. This biome also is extremely resource rich. You got shale outcrops. The uh, sea traders also kick up shale outcrops as they walk around. In terms of, as far as threats go, the only thing that you may encounter here are warpers. And even then, I don't think the warpers spawn inside the actual cave itself. They spawn outside of the cave, like in the sea traders path biome, because this is the sea traders cave. That's the sea traders path up there. But the warpers only spawn outside on the path. I haven't really seen any spawn inside the cave but if the warpers end up do attacking you they can help with out of your vehicle and whatnot so just be careful of them but if you can get past them you know the annoyances that they are you can make a pretty cool looking and creative base in this biome and you'll have the sea treaders walking around you know your background noise or your ambient noise because they make some pretty nice sounds whenever they're roaring and you can also just hear them you know stomping around as they walk throughout the biome so pretty nice spot to build a creative base you can you know you can get really creative in this biome and we can move on to our next biome all right so the next area that you can build your base in that's also super amazing is going to be the tree cove biome now the only downside to this area is the fact that it's going to be a bit of a hassle to get to because you have to come through the lost river and the lost river is a fairly hostile biome so you have to be careful going through there but once you reach this area it's completely safe you know the ghost rays in this biome don't really attack you and the fog on the ground does not hurt you whenever you go into it like it would if you were in the Lost River. Amazing thing about this area is the atmosphere. It's got some of the best atmosphere out of all the biomes in this game because you have the amazing looking ghost rays swimming around. They're uh, bioluminescent, so they're glowing. They're we got the giant tree in the middle of the biome that has these cool looking branches. And in the tree, you can also see there is a giant ghost leviathan egg and there's two smaller ones to the left and right. So that's also super cool. Now, how I would go about building a base in this bomb to make it you know creative and cool looking i would build it sort of like around the tree cove i would build it around this giant tree because this tree gives off some amazing amazing this tree gives off some amazing lighting for your base and it gives you a nice little thing to look at you know whenever you're in your base so like let's say i built like a large room right here and then i built the roof of the large room like the glass roof i could just look up and then i could see this plant slash structure right above slash right next to my base and that's pretty awesome awesome sight to look at you could also build your base in the fog because again like we talked about the fog does not damage you when you go into it so you can actually build your face 
Build your face. You can build your base in the fog if you wanted to. It's gonna be a little bit harder because there's not as much room to build in here, but it is still possible. You just might have to move some of your bigger modules around like your moon pool, large room and all that other stuff. Now, if you don't wanna build around the tree exactly, and you also don't wanna build underneath the fog, you can also build just above the fog because that also gives your base a super cool ambient look because you can see the fog, the light that comes from the fog will actually bounce off and hit your base, hit the bottom of your base and it'll light up, give your base good little aesthetic lighting to your base and makes it look a lot cooler and it also looks super cool from a distance because your base is going to be you know like sitting just above some fog tree cove another cool place you can build a creative base you can build three different types of creative bases here yeah with them we can head on to our last area that you can build a cool and creative base in all right and the last awesome spot that you can build your base in this game i'm not really ordering this list by uh like which spot i think is the best because i think all these spots are equally as cool as each other but the last spot is going to be on the floating islands now you're going to want to go to a specific spot on the floating islands so if we go up to the hill where the three degasi bases are so you got one on the right one on the left and then you have the one in front of you if we turn around then we will see that there is this big old area right here as we can see and it sits right above a water source which leads down into the Grand Reef. So you can build your base right above. All right, so I just wanted to make a little example base. You can build your base sitting just above this water source right here, and you can build it pretty, as long as you're, again, you have to get, you're gonna have to get creative with all these spots because they're a little bit, they're gonna be a little bit stranger to build in. But as we can see, you can construct yourself a pretty decent looking base. This isn't, this isn't like an example of a good looking base, but you know, the start of one at least. There's a bunch of different ways you can come together with an idea about how you wanna build this base and make it look awesome because you can make a pretty good looking base here. And also the floating islands sits just above the Grand Reef biome, which is why I picked this spot specifically because it sits right above this water source. And if you're sitting right above this water source, guess what you can do? If you so chose to make two bases, you can build a base, you know, like a main base up here, you know, on the floating islands. And then you could also get a bunch of vertical connectors build straight down and you can just go all the way down all the way down all the way down until you hit the grand reef which is going to be right here the other thing about this base is you also wouldn't have to worry about all integrity there we go unless you build you know like the, like i'm about to show you the second base if you build a second base in the grand reef and whatnot like i'm about to do right now you won't actually have to worry about whole integrity and honestly you could layer this base into three different layers so you could do one layer of your base being on the top you know, on the surface biome of the floating islands, so up there on the surface. And then you could do one right here underneath the floating islands where all the, you know, giant floaters are. You know, that's some pretty good, pretty cool environment to have in the background for your base. And then you could keep going down and I just built the wrong way. Let's say we just build a foundation right here, put a bunch of stuff on it. And then we have a base sitting underneath the floating islands. We have a base on top of the floating islands where the surface is. And then we can go all the way down to the very bottom where the Grand Reef is. And we can have a base down there as well. And this specific spot on the floating islands is a pretty awesome spot to build a base in my opinion opinion if there's any base locations that i might have missed in the video here you can feel free to let me know in the comments below and we can talk about those spots because i'm pretty sure i'm sure there's a lot a lot of other cool spots that you can build a base that i just did not think of so feel free to let me know we can talk about that in the comments because i am open to doing that but other than that that is all i have for y'all thank y'all for watching i hope y'all enjoyed and i will see y'all in the next one peace